DK Oldies is a company that I have looked up just recently, like literally just a couple of minutes ago. And uh, I just want to see this website for myself because uh, I looked it up, saw where they're from, and uh, they're not from where I live. But they have been getting controversies throughout their lifespan, which is basically they sell refurbished stuff like NES, SNES, N64, you name it, and other consoles besides the the three I said. Yeah, they have been marked as one of the worst companies, retro game companies. Uh, to sell refurbished stuff at a very expensive price because in Google there's something called the people also ask uh, section and it's titled the the shady side of DK oldies I'll put it in the link in the description below and uh, and uh, basically the question is what is the DK oldies controversy DK oldies site claims that it refurbishes checking that the products work and look and work like new However, several YouTubers alleged that they've ordered items from DK Oldies that haven't worked at all and perhaps worse. We're filthy. We're gonna read in the article about it, just only the first part of it and then we'll look, check out the website. The video game resale mart can be a surprisingly dark place. Yes, but it's not in the dark place of where I live because I bought this for like 30 bucks. At an old game store, I bought Sonic Heroes for like 30 bucks. And then, and then later on I bought this because this that didn't come with a game a GameCube memory card. So yeah, for example, after a slew of retro video games video games sold for outrageous prices, why the gaming community began to sus suspect that those high-profile auctions weren't what they seemed, and it turns out they weren't. Video game grading company Wada was used for market manipulation, falsely inf inflating prices based on its own grading system. The resale market in general, with or without professional grading, has some suspicious characters. DK Oldie seems too good to be true at first. A gaming reseller that has just about anything a retro enthusiast could want, all refurbished and clean to a light new condition. Sure, the prices are a little steep, but who wouldn't pay for quality? That's true. Many YouTubers are now arguing that DK Oldies is too good to be true, alleging that the company has lied about the quality of its goods. Instead of staying silent or rehabbing its image, DK Oldies has fired back, insisting that its business practices are sound. While the truth may be murky, it's clear something shady is going on. And uh, you can watch this video here if you want to look into more of it. Let's just go through the a business based on quick resell. There's no better place to start than the beginning in a case as convoluted as DK Oldies. Back in 2015, DK Oldies launched the first episode of its podcast on YouTube. There, the company's founder, Drew Stemiel, sat down with co-worker Anthony Leach to talk about all things gaming. The conversation was awkward, which may be expected of a company's first foray into the digital space, but the video quality wasn't what was alarming about the podcast. Instead, Stemiel's nonchalant attitude towards gaming and his dubious reasoning for getting into the game selling business raised alarm. That's problem number one out the window. Shortly after the video's introduction, Leach asked Stemel why he wanted to start DK Oldies in the first place. Stemel insisted that he didn't like to talk about the company's origins, then told a story about meeting a woman who sold pet related items online. Seeing her success, he thought he could do something similar and began via a roundabout path, buying games on eBay and reselling them for more money than he paid for them. The entire premise of DK Oldies was built on making money quickly, not a passion for gaming. The company's website tells an entirely different story about how Steemo founded DK Oldies, emphasizing his childhood love for gaming and glossing over his business aspirations. And here's where I say, okay, selling the retro video games at a much lower price than what you see on eBay? I mean, sure. <laughs> I mean, that's cool and all, but but here's the problem here. As I reread, the entire premise of DK Oldies was built on making money quickly and not a passion for game. And basically you lied about your your aspirations of your business and your childhood love for gaming. Why? And why would you even start a company doing like lying about your business aspirations and your and overshadowing it with your love for video games? Like, I love video games. 
And if I did this as a business, I would be ashamed. Most of these were not owned by me, as in this one. There's no crime in wanting make in wanting to make more money, but Steemo's derogatory tone toward other online vendors, at one point calling a seller an idiot, suggests that he may think selling games online is an easy job that requires a little skill. According to Steemo's comments, DK Oli's business model is based on buying and reselling, but its official website offers something very different, refurbishment services. Okay, so this is what this fucker looks like. Look at those completely new cartridges of Paper Mario and Mario Tennis on the N64. A quick research on YouTube yields a wealth of videos where game reviewers show off their damaged or dirty goods from DK Oldies. The worst example feature items th that don't work properly, like Tronic Fix's case of damage of a damaged game. Even though Tronic's Fix cleaned the game's pin system, the pins themselves were damaged, bent into a configuration that prevented the console from reading the game. Hmm, the fuck, a refurbished PlayStation 3? YouTuber Jacob R. ordered a few a few of products from DK Oldies and reviewed them in a series of videos. After ordering a PlayStation 3, Jacob R unboxed it in a video and detailed each issue he found, focusing specifically on the dust and grime caked onto the console. Jacob R described the, the items as smelling old, like they had been sitting in the basement for years, and alleged that dust shot out of the system's fan once it turned on. What the fuck? They titled themselves as a refurb as a retro game store that sells refurbished games and refurbished consoles. And I read this? Are you... Are you... F for fucking real? No, I don't... No. This is... This is totally unacceptable. In other words, while the system technically functioned, it didn't live up to DK Oli's promise of refurbishment. Bam. The system had not been visibly cleaned, or even opened. While that may not seem like much of an offense, dust buildup can affect the system's performance. That's true. DK Oldies promises to completely clean and refurbish each product that passes through its warehouse, but many claim that the items they receive simply don't live up to those standards. And there's the problem. And we go back to here. It's basically this part right here that is not living up to everyone's expectations for the company. And this is where I step in and say, I don't know which is worse. 3 for 3 Industries not treating their employees right? Or DK Oldies not living up to their standards? I don't know which is worse. Okay, so yeah, what the fuck? You cannot just start a company saying, we're gonna resell refurbished consoles and then just lie about it in the face of public eye, and that's honestly a little disgusting. Let's go into the website. Man, I would like a second Wii console to, to not work as their standards. Wii Sports Bundle Pack with the console and Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. I already have a copy of Wii Sports, but uh, do I really want a second one? But I would like a copy of Wii Sports Resort, because I never played. Actually, that's a lot. I played Wii Sports Resort. It's been years since I played it though. The GameCube Platinum Player Pack? Let's go see more details on this. Huge deals! Games and consoles for sale! Yeah, you really like to treat it that way, don't you? We have the Player Pack thing for N64. We got shirt. They, they have shirts going for 20 bucks. That's actually not a bad deal. And see, the Nintendo N64 logo, logo on a black shirt. That's actually not that bad. Super Mario 64 for 35 bucks, that's actually a pretty good deal. Mario Kart Wii for 40 bucks, that's actually not bad. Super Mario Galaxy for 20 bucks, that's a deal! I already own the game, so I don't need to go to that scammy company. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for 14 bucks. I don't have a PlayStation 2. Two player pack at 155 bucks, that's actually solid. We play for like 8 bucks. Is that a threat? 193 items, let's see what they got. Star Fox 64 for 27 bucks, that's actually pretty good. 
Oh my god, just a single Wii Remote and a Nintendo Wii for $100. Super Smash Bros. Brawl for 26 bucks. Hell yeah, I would buy it. Mario Kart DS for 22 bucks. I already have two copies. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for only 25 bucks. A Clear Glacier Game Boy Advance, the original system, for only 110 bucks. All right. The OG Xbox for only 210 bucks. No, a black Nintendo GameCube for 170 bucks. Super Mario Galaxy 2 for 37 bucks. Cool. Mario Super Sluggers, I have that game, I don't know where it is. What the fuck? 75 bucks for Mario Party 3? No. Luigi's Mansion for $79? No. Nintendo Wii U 32GB system for only 220 bucks? No. The first Xbox One model at going at 130 bucks? I'm pretty sure there's going there's some sale going on right now, so if 230 bucks is the actual price for this, that is over half of what the regular Xbox One price is. And this is actually a pretty good price. I actually do have an original Xbox One model in this house. Seven bucks for Halo 3, hell yeah, I'll take another copy. The original Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Genesis for 10 bucks! Hell yeah! Donkey Kong Country Returns for 17 bucks. That's actually not, that's actually a pretty good deal. Smash, Smash Brothers for Wii U for 10 bucks. Great deal! Get Out of My Life for 50 bucks. Spider-Man 2 for 25 bucks, not bad. Halo 4 for four bucks. Ironic. The original Mario Party for 65 bucks. Eh, no, Halo Combat Evolved. I have a copy of it. But going for 16 bucks, not bad. Mario Party 7, 65 bucks. No, why would you pay Mario Party for like 60 bucks? I say that because um, I paid for a Mario Party game for that much, which was Mario Party Superstars. Sonic Heroes going for 40 bucks? I already have it. And and that's ten dollars less of what I bought it for. New Super Mario Brothers 2 for what is that? Twenty-four bucks, and it's going for thirty-five regularly. I think that's what's going on. Is a sale, so for it being currently eleven dollars less, yeah, yeah, I'd say it's solid deal. Halo 2 for eight bucks, not bad. Mario Superstar Baseball for the Nintendo GameCube going for $90 right now. No. Mario Party 4 for $83. No. Metroid Prime 3, $18. Deal. Super Mario 64 DS for $35. Maybe. I already have this on the original Xbox, but this is going for $12. I mean, hey, if I want it for the GameCube, I want it for the GameCube. Who knows? Then we go to the player, the regular N64 going for. 135, no. WWF, no mercy. With uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson when he was once a wrestler and now he was a movie actor. What a career approach. <laughs> the original Mario Kart 8. I have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so this is worthless to me. 18 bucks, that's actually a pretty good deal. What? Why would you sell a Nintendo Wii with no GameCube backward compatibility? That just defeats the purpose of owning a Wii. And this is going on for 50 bucks. You need the GameCube backward compatibility with that. A bad game going for nine bucks. Ga a black GameCube with two controllers and comes bundled with Super Smash Bros. Melee and Mario Kart Double Dash. And for 340 bucks, I mean, that's normal for a bundle deal, so. But they would go for, I think, a hundred dollars. Not a not hundred dollars. Fifty dollars more or something? I don't know. But yeah, this going for $340 for right now, and this being retailed at $400 over there. That's a bit much. That's just me, I don't know. And a standard black GameCube for $110, that's actually pretty good. Alright, it's just mostly consoles and games and console and game bundles, so yeah. Super Mario 3 Land, I already have it. I still think it's fun. Final Fantasy VII for $24. bucks. good. A regular PlayStation 4, the standard 500 gigabyte system. 360 bucks, that's actually... What? What was that on launch, like 400? PlayStation 4 going at... This one going at right now, 195 bucks. That's actually really damn good. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, that's coming to the Switch next year. Going for 23 bucks right now. I still think it's a good game. You all should play it. If you have a Nintendo 3DS, that is. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, going for 
39 bucks right now. This retail at 60 bucks over there. No. Halo 3 ODST. The original Mario Maker on Wii U going for 10 bucks. That's actually a damn good price. Sonic and Knuckles. Oh boy, going for 25 bucks. No. For these, you gotta make it like the least expensive thing on the market. What the fuck? Final Fantasy X 2 going for 3 bucks? What a steal! Metroid, the original Metroid Prime going at 30 bucks. And retail at 50 bucks over there. And I think that was the retail price at launch. I can't. I. Eh. I can't have an actual answer for that because I never owned a GameCube, nor have I played Metroid Prime or any Metroid Prime or any Metroid game. Resident Evil 4, one of the most popular games of all time. Going at 17 bucks, that's actually pretty good. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga on the Game Boy Advance for 45 bucks right now. That's actually not that bad. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Wii U, 15 bucks. I have it on Switch, so no, thank you. The Simpsons Hit and Blow. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops on the Wii, 17 bucks. Okay. So, I mean, you can come back to this video and respond in the comments how you feel about this company and of the controversies we have seen by them, so... I think next video I'll look at the controversy, so who knows. Thank you everyone for watching, I just wanted to make this a video because... Whatever, right? ZK Oldies, owner of the company. Get your sh business priorities together and do better at looking into the consoles, getting that shit out. I'm just staring at Ratchet deadlocked for some reason. <laughs> Alright, thank you everyone for watching and goodbye.